Oh boy, oh boy, it's that time. It's Mori time. Been looking forward to this. Couldn't wait to get back to this game, honestly. Cappy's here. This is good. This is very good. Alrighty. Hello, everyone. Blacksmith's here. Coming back at you with some good old-fashioned Mori action. A nice fluffy game with nothing malicious just below the surface that will slowly seep out as time goes on. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that psychological horror tag is fake. But hey, as an aside, that warning command is, is up up again. Eh, warning. There we go. That's the that's back up. So just in case. Um oh, hey Reverb, good to see you too. I've been staring at starting soon for too long. We're a game at Gam. This is Lala, not Gam. Uh <sighs> Man, just reading your stuff makes me tired. But that's fine, we're gonna play some Mori. And that'll that'll just wake us both up, right? And you'll be happy, right? Right, buddy? I'm not starting until you say you'll be happy. I don't think that's the same as saying you'll be happy, but you know what? It'll do. Alright, let's switch over to the game. Mori, sound on, and click. I was really worried that it wasn't going to show up for a second. Alright, hopefully the sound's okay. Let me know if it's not. But I think it should be at an acceptable level. Alright, let's continue. Wait. Prologue? I'm in the prologue? No shit! Ah, thank you, Naughty, and hello. Oh, shit. This is the prologue still? I've been playing for a while, I thought. Okay, where were we? I have bow facts. Ah! Cute and fluffy creatures that may or may not attack people without warning. I think it would probably make for a cute pet. Yeah. That would be an excellent pet. Don't spam that reverb. I'll, I'll time you out, and you know I will. Oh, Dust Bunny. The sneeziest of all bunnies. Likes to hide in bookshelves and under the bed. Seems a little shy. This thing exploded when I fought it. I remember. I wanted to get them the warning. Ah, okay. You were just being... You were being a good Samaritan. Very well. AKA, oh, it's an unidentified flying orange. A highly advanced orange, commonly seen aimlessly floating through the vastness of space. They would make pretty solid emotes, would they not? Speaking of emotes, I added some from, like, um, Better TV and Frankerface. Granted, you will only be able to see them if you have those installed. This is a wormhole. It is said that wormholes are capable of connecting widely separated regions of space and time. But this one's just a worm. Aubrey does not like how it wiggles. Alright, well anyway, let's not get too into this. <laughs> how are our items doing? Snacks. We got tofu. Some s'mores. A granola bar. A hot dog. Better than a cold dog, I agree. Chocolate, donut, ra ramen that you find in toilets, popcorn, plum juice, apple juice. Okay, so we're good on juice. We're good on items in general. Alright. So we got the tape. I remember that. So we deliver it back to s space. S uh, space boyfriend, yes. Yeah, we talked to you already. Oh. Hope the captain feels better soon. Oh, I got just the thing that'll ail him. That ails him, rather. Well, I'll be. You kids really did it. Oh, reverb, if only. It's a little dirty, but that's our missing special mixtape for sure. Thanks a lot, my guy. With this, we'll finally be able to wake up Space Boyfriend. 
Tell reach into your pocket and took out the special mixtape. It's odd. Well, no, I heard it's a problem, but I can't even see the better TV emotes. I can only see the Frank or Face Z ones. Absolutely garbage. Oh, thanks for the follow, Macro Panther. Okay, see, yeah, I see Ban. Odd. Actually, about that, we might have some bad news. We heard a rumor that Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart, well, that they broke up. Oh, yeah, that stupid Sprout Mole. Yeah. What? Did they really? For real this time? Nah, you're gonna have to two-line that, Reverb. Trust me, I tried. <laughs> there you go, buddy. You got it. Oh, no. But that would mean... that there's no point in playing him the special mixtape anymore. All hope is lost. Hey, Space Boyfriend, we got your special mixtape back. I'm not sure we should be playing this if they broke up. Can at least thank us. Oh, don't be so down, Space Pirate Guy. It's just a rumor. And even if it is true, it's not the end of the world. I see, Rat Jam. People get over breakups all the time. I'm sure Space Boyfriend will be back on his feet soon. He just needs some time to readjust. Oh, I know. I'll blast his special mixtape on his boombox. Please don't. He's got to wake up to that. In that case, we should probably get rid of that special mixtape after all. Oh, God. Listening to the songs might be way too emotional for him. Give it here, Amori. I'll keep it safe. Here, reach into your pocket. I mean, I could probably take it out my... Anyway. Huh? Where is it? Oh, boy. Cal, what are you doing? No! Oh, it's, it's awful. Wakey, wakey, space boyfriend! Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. What is that infernal racket? <laughs> Darn it, Kel, look what you did. Oh, you got the laugh and everything. Fear me, for I have awakened. <laughs> One second. Much better. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Foolish children. I must thank you for bringing me out of that pathetic state. I grew tired of lying in bed pretending to be sick. What? Like I always say, feelings are for losers. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a breakup right there. That wench, sweetheart. She's going to pay for leaving me. I did everything for her. I gave everything to her. Everything, you hear me? That ungrateful little... Ugh. Ugh. Bro, it's your, that's your bed. Just forget it. Forget everything. I'm going to find Sweetheart, and I'm going to make her pay. Sorry, but we can't let you do that, Space Boyfriend. Or should I say... Space Ex-Boyfriend? Bruh, Aubrey. Can't... C come on now, you can't just do that to the guy. What? Interesting. You want to challenge me? Do you even know who I am? Your space ex-boyfriend. I am captain of the space pirates. I control all the planets in the solar system and have the ability to fly through space at will. The power of the entire universe is at my command. Blah, blah, blah. Talk all you want. We're not scared of you. If you plan on going around and causing trouble, you're going to have to go get through us first. Amori's just like, eh. So that's how it's going to be. If you still insist on stopping me, I'm afraid we'll just have to settle this the hard way. I'll take all of you on. Fight me, earthly scum! Oh boy. As expected. Another bop. Now that's a very well-placed rat jam. Oh, that's really good. All right, Amori. Uh, make yourself sad. Mm, I 
but how annoy and here it's the axe. some more. Ooh. Absolutely bopping my head to this. Hm, you actually have a bit of HP, don't you? I didn't know a boss battle was coming right up. I would have just ended my last Amori stream on this. Oh, my rage cannot be contained. You cannot placate me. Placate? Placate? I think it's placate. Space ex-boyfriend became angry. Space, oh, space ex-boyfriend can no longer become happy or sad. Oh. Okay. So we don't want Amori to be sad then. Because <laughs> angry beats sad. Uh... Anger on all friends. Removes emotion from a friend or foe. No. No. Oh. This might do it. Wait, no. Let's make Kel use that. Head, but still, Hell uses confetti. Interesting. Oh, God. I mean, what? <laughs> confetti the bitch. Oh, release energy. Oh, yeah, I picked trip. Fuck. Oh, a speed fell, though. That's good. I meant to release energy. Uh, Aubrey's almost dead, as per the usual. Alright. I'm not sure I like Omori's happy expression, to be honest. 35% of juice, 25 juice. Yeah, this'll do. Yes, reverb. Rat jam. Legit just bopping my head to the song. It's so good. Stronger. Oh, you can't use headbutt at all when Aubrey's angry. Okay, that's fine. Just a regular attack is fine then. Let's get everyone some popcorn. Okay, good. All right, good. Fired this laser, didn't do much. Nice. Okay, here is enough for another snack time. We're just gonna keep attacking, because I think we got him on the ropes. Small damage reduces speed. Okay. Oh, I can't headbutt. Why couldn't I before? But then again, I'm not sure I want to. Let's just use a regular attack. Kale attack. It's 
Attack time! Ah, how are you still moving? I... I won't let you defeat me! Space ex-boyfriend became enraged. Smack! Oh, that's such a good heal. Hero is good cleric. Him angie. I'm very angie. He has a good amount of health. I feel like... I feel like the... This boss was, like, intended to finally be like, you need to know how to use emotions or you're not gonna win. Because, like, he has a lot of HP. I'm not sure you'd be able to cheese him. <laughs> nah, let's not. And regular attack. E. Looks wistfully into the distance. You wasted your turn, chump. God, this music is so good. Like, I've talked about it before, but if there's one thing that will draw me to a game, it's the music. And the music is so good in this game. Eh, you know, at least my opinion. Wistfully into the distance. You're wasting turns, chump! Out of my way, earthly scum! This is your last chance! Oh, SpaceX boyfriend became furious! And crustier. Him really angry now. But we're happy, so it doesn't matter. Get wrecked. He fires wildly. Yeah, see, if we were sad or something, that probably would have, like, destroyed us. Oh, you're you're dead. I don't even have to release energy on you. Uh my heart. It hurts. Hmm, livid. I feel like that would have been a better word, actually. I think they should have used livid. Not only did we gain a bunch of EXP, but everyone's alive. Mori Loon and learned hack away. Huh? Run and gun. Neat. Yeah, that emote you just used, Reverb, that one was just for you. Achievement unlocked. See you, Space Boyfriend. <laughs> I thought of all the times you wanted an emote, an emote to angrily leave stream, and I'm just like, there it is. That's it. And I'll give him an emote to happily return. Huh? W what happened? Where am I? Who are you? Mouse, please. Hey there, how are you feeling? Oh, hello. I'm Captain Space Boy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ow, my chest. Well, no, are you okay? You got a little angry earlier, so we had to... Whoops. <laughs> ah, I see. My other half must have gotten the better of me. Oh, so that's just... Okay. I must apologize. Your actions were likely well justified. I just hope I didn't cause you all too much trouble. Nah, yeah, you were a pretty straightforward battle, buddy. I've been having a hard time controlling my emotions lately. I try my best to keep them at bay, but it's becoming much more difficult. Sweetheart. She was the love of my life. It's almost impossible for me to imagine life apart from her. I guess I'm a bit lost. This special mixtape is full of mine and Sweetheart's favorite songs. It puts, I put so much love into making this for her. Thank you all for returning it to me. This is still full of precious memories, after all. Eh, it's no problem. Well, not too much, anyway. Yeah, we're glad to help. You just go ahead and get some rest. I'm afraid no amount of rest can truly heal a broken heart. I must find another way to get over this. Captain Spa- I mean, Space Boyfriend. I am so, so, so sorry, but I have very, very terrible news. Your favorite planet, Pluto, oh yeah, Pluto the Swole, has escaped and we can't find him anywhere. 
Don't be mad at us. We're sorry. Please be gentle. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I see. It's okay, you two. I'm sure even the other planets get bored of, of turning slowly all day. Perhaps Pluto was never meant to be a planet. Huh? Really? So you're not angry at us? Do you mean it, Captain Sp I mean, Space Boyfriend? I sure do. Gather the rest of the crew. Let's go to the frozen lake and get some snow cones. Snow cones. Resting in bed may not fix a broken heart, but eating snow cones with friends might help. Yeah. Good old food. Also, you don't have to call me Space Boyfriend anymore. I'm Captain Space Boy. Wait, does this mean... Woohoo! The captain is back. Can't wait to tell everyone. Let's go, dude. Right behind you, buddy. I can't thank you enough for what you've done. Who knows what would have happened to me and my crew if you all didn't show up. Aw, oh, it was nothing. We're just glad you're feeling like yourself again. Yes, yeah, Snow Cone. Oh, that's, that's, that's a good emote. <laughs> you have my thanks. If you ever need anything from me or the Space Pirates, please don't hesitate to ask. Actually, I can't believe I forgot about this, but we're actually looking for our friend Basil. Yeah, I... Wow, I forgot too. Holy shit. He wears a flower crown and always carries his photo album on him. Have you seen him around? No, I'm afraid I haven't. But if I do see anything, you'll be the first to know. Basil, where could he have gone? She cried. Ah, please don't cry, little lady. Here, take this. You got a snow cone. Ah, snow cone ticket. Great. She still cry. Uh-oh. Please, little lady, don't cry. Uh, here, take this too. What are we getting now? You got a train pass. I used it to travel around on trains when I was a child, long before I became a space captain. If even I can go from traveling on trains to flying my own spaceship, I'm sure you'll all I'm sure you'll be able to find your friend. Oh. Okay. Hey Captain, you ready to go? Everyone's waiting for you. Ah, yes, hold on, I'm coming. You must keep your hopes up, little lady. If it gets too hard to bear, try eating a snow cone. It might make things a little easier. I mustn't keep my crew waiting. Good luck with everything, and thanks again. Well, he ended up being pretty cool. Hello? Your bond with your friends became stronger. Everyone's follow-up moves improved. F? No, E. Thought it was an F. Little spook. Little hole. There's a hole here. Reach into the hole. Urgh, what could possibly go wrong? You felt a cold breeze. Oh, alright. That wasn't so bad. Oh, I guess the mixed it. Oh, where did these footsteps come from? Why are you still here? Ah. <laughs> Wait, do we? We have recycling stuff, don't we? Yeah! Computer parts. Twenty-five clams. Not bad. You can stop it earlier, but I just wanted to listen to the whole thing. <laughs> hmm. It's nice that you just get, like, straight money for recycling. If only it was a thing in real life. Alas, everyone just has to settle for, you know, keeping the Earth livable. It's not as good as money. Oh, but, yeah, pretty much. Pretty... 
Puppets ear goggles? What? And 20, and 20, 10 clams. Yeah, legit hobo life. <laughs> all right. How many cans do I have and can I put them all in at once? Obviously not. Take a quick look and see if how many of these I have. Because if there's not an inventory space limit, then boy, will I not be doing this for all of them. It's not toys, right? Oh, it is. Oh, we're almost done. Two cans and one glass bottle. Dispense the flashlight. are things I'm going to have to take a closer look at. Do it. So I got a flashlight and seer goggles from this. All right. All right. Let's take a look. See. the eye patch too. Attack plus seven but reduces hit rate. Hmm. Hmm. Goggles that know everything. Defense plus one, luck plus three increases hit rate. Okay. Flashlight brightens up a room. Defense plus four. Why does that give defense? So defense plus two increases hit rate. I might as well give you this, I guess. Have some more luck. That's a swamp heart plus 10. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't realize I had a TV remote. Ah, what the heck. have this because it's just more defense. Alright. There was another quest I believe I had to hand in too. I don't remember. Wait, it's down. Yeah, I remember now. Uh, yeah, it's down there. Down there. I think we got everything we needed for this one. Oh, sweet. You found everything on my list. I should ask random people for favors more often. coffee machine broke down like forever ago, but I've been too busy to gather the missing parts. Now that this one is all fixed up, I don't have to drink that gross instant coffee crap anymore. Here's a little something for helping me out. You got dynamite. This actually looks kind of dangerous. Now, if you all will excuse me, I have some important business to attend to. Alright, we won't find out what that business is. So what's this about literal dynamite? And why is it a toy? Actually dangerous. Deals heavy damage to all foes. Not to remember that. Literal dynamite. All 
All right, let me save at that picnic basket. Re oh, no, okay. Hello, everyone. How's the search for Basil going? Well, Mari, it seems we, that we've taken a little detour. Yeah, a little. Just trying to help those in need, you know? Look, Mari, I got a snow cone ticket. Well, that's very nice, Aubrey. Thanks. Mari, look what I can do. Oh, yeah, you got the ability to flex. That's very nice, too, Kel. <laughs> I know, isn't it? It's so strange. We've searched all over the place, but we haven't seen a hint of Basil anywhere. Oh, Basil. I wonder where he could have gone. There must be something we're missing. Do you have any leads, Amori? Nope, guess not. Silent. Give me the space to, uh, do food. Give me the save. Hello, Mir. Well, let's follow the footprints, I guess. Oh, oh boy. Here we go. It begins. Well, it continues, rather. Oh, yeah. It's continuing. Tentacles poking out of the ground. We still don't know what those are for. Also, my friends are gone. Hmm. There is nothing here. Okay. Watermelons are my favorite part of summer. I don't know what my favorite part of summer this year will be. Don't look like it'll be too much of a summer aside from the heat. Mari's cookies. Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Uh, let me look around before I follow you directly. Melon! A wish? Well, what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. That's a sweet sentiment. Donut. Are you going on ahead? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. Yo, that background, though? Looks particularly spacey. I see a melon. Mango smoothie. Hmm. Melon. Got it. Oh, God damn it, a can. Probably, probably would have made more sense if I came from that way. We're still young. We should dream big, right? Should I ask why there are random cars here? nothing here. I'm not sure I believe that. Yeah. This year, you get just one present from all of us. Yeah, that one's definitely unique. I'm not sure what it is, though. Must have been a really good present. To the barnyard. Ah, yes. Red light. Very good.
Ah, yes, more red light in the back. I can't exit, right? Surprisingly. F. This is the part where I say something cliched like F in the chat. Looks like Mother 3 Me. That's exactly what I thought when I saw it. That exact same sentiment. And I like both of those games, so I was just like, you know what? Why not play this? <laughs> Sheet music on a music stand. All the notes have been scribbled out. A happy family. Can't much see their faces, but a happy family. Hmm. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. Okay. Hmm. Jesus Christ. Always oh, that thing. You can see a little bit of uh, Basil in there, though. Not a fan of it. Waiting for something to happen. Move up my laptop. Oh, it just boots into Hangman now. Okay. Wait. There was. What did the butt at the bottom say? Okay, no, I still have no idea. Sketchbook still the same? Yep. Yeah. Your drawings? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you're still in the back. Alright. Time to do the weird thing to leave. Why is that your chosen method of ejecting yourself? Oof. We're going back to the real world now. At that time, I saw everything. Hmm. When you stood here before, did you see it too? Yeesh. Something behind you. Three days left. What is this, Majora's Mask? What's happening in three days? <clears throat> oh, daylight? Achievement unlocked. Good morning. <laughs> okay. Very comfortable bed. Sorry, a very, very comfortable bed. Wow. Place ain't so bad when it's not pitch black here. You have a new message. Hi, Sunny. That's right, we're Sunny. We're not a Mori. We're Sunny now. Hi, Sunny. It's Mommy. How are you doing? Are you eating well? I was hoping that I could make it back to you today, to see you today, but it's the last day of a big furniture sale and I just can't resist a good bargain. You can take care of yourself for a few days, right? After all, you're a big boy now. Remember to finish your chores before I get back. I left a list on the table next to your door. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Pokemon vibes here? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Hmm. Actually, I wonder how old Amori is. Or sunny, I guess. An old computer. You want to play? Yeah, I want to play blackjack. Oh man! I have a hundred dollars. How much do you want to bet? All of it. Hit me. Oh, they busted. Cool. 
Hundred. Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> Hit me. Stay. Hmm. Hit me. That would be very much your playstyle, yes. <laughs> Ooh, hit me. Stay. Oh, you fuck. I'm gonna hit you with another knock on a lie reverb. I don't know what Condom Blackjack is. Oh, stay. That shark's not wearing that party hat correctly. Imagine Blackjack. Yes. Hit me. Oh, yeah, of course they got Blackjack. Fuck. <laughs> but instead of money and chips, it's condoms. I see. Okay. I guess that does make it legal. Uh, hit me. Okay, I, th I think I'm good. <laughs> Condoms to promote safe sex. Fair, I guess. And you win a mountain of safe sex. I see. Rem remember, friends, condoms are only safe when you use them. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Mood. Oh. Eh, check around first. You can keep beating the door for a while. Family photos, a small fake house plant, what's in the bathroom. Good. Got a toilet, some towels and toiletries. I say this is a note from mommy. Remember to brush your teeth every day. Love you. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I told you, man, this is... I'm pretty sure this is the real world. Bathtub. Ah, God damn it, fine. Wait, I gotta check the fridge. Yes. It's empty. Neglect. Hello? Hello? Sonny? Are you there? You remember me? It's your old friend, Kel. Kel? Real world, Kel. Well, that, that's dream world, Kel. So I, uh, I noticed a for sale sign in front of your house. And I, uh, heard from my mom that you were moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go, or whatever. For old time's sake, you know? Hmm. Last time I opened the door was for Mari, and it was a spooky ghost, and it was the middle of night. I trust this more. Yeah, let's open it. Oh, it's too bright. Well, shit. It really is him. Gadzooks. Huh. Whoa, you actually came out. <laughs> er, I mean... Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, Sonny. I really didn't expect you to come out today, so I don't have a game... So I don't really have a game plan here. <laughs> hey, I know. Let's go to Hobby. Hobbies? Hobbies. It's the hobby shop in the faraway plaza. I don't know what I expected. You remember the way, right? We used to go there all the time when we were kids. Well, what are we waiting for? That's that's a great face. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's go. Hey, Clara. Nice to see you again. I do not know the way. The pinwheel blows freely in the wind. Yeah, I'll save. Probably no point in doing this, but I'm still just going to keep the real world and dream world slot separate. This reminds me of Pokemon. Yeah, the uh, this overworld dealio. Yeah, 
I get that. Okay, good. We can run. Got a hydrant. A fire hydrant. A classy white mailbox. You shouldn't walk in the street, Sonny. That's dangerous. Alright, relax. Oh. There. Car. Right there. A for sale sign with a big red sold sticker on it. Your house has been sold. In three days, you will be moving somewhere else. Oh, that's what the three days left thing means. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Wait, hold up, Sonny. I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place, but now might not be a good time. <laughs> but, but the dog. But the dog. <sighs> Tells basketball hoop seems a little dangerous out on the street like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Plastic flamingos decorate this yard. They seem to be in good spirits. An empty birdhouse filled with sticks and dust. Can I break in? Guess not. There's no response. A statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it is judging you. I s yeah, there's quite a few of them, actually. There's no response. Creep. It's okay. All creep. All creeping is welcome on the channel. Jehovah's for sure. <laughs> uh, I remember when I had a couple of those that stopped by my place like every other day. It it can get annoying real fast. Shit, where were we going? This way, I guess. Throw clothes. Got some. You got trash? What? Okay, sure. Far away park. The future belongs to the dreamers. Hmm. Oh. You are... Not supposed to be here. Ergo, you disappear. And there's the cat. A large metal cat. You remember it being a lot bigger. Hence why the one in the dream world is fucking gigantic. <laughs> Makes sense. Got a yo-yo. Got a person running around. Your name's Jock, huh? Oh, hey. What's up? What are you doing here, Kel? From around this part of town? Oh, whoa. I didn't expect to see you here, Jay. Oh, okay. That's that's better. <laughs> Sonny, this is Jay. He's the captain of the football team at my high school. I didn't know you played basketball, too. Eh. I'm just here to kill time. It's more of a hobby than anything. You're trying out for the basketball team this year, right, Kel? Maybe you can keep maybe you can teach me some of your tricks. Yeah, definitely. It sounds like fun. But maybe another time. My childhood friend Sonny here is leaving town in the next few days, so we're all hanging out so we're hanging out all day today. Okay. I'll definitely catch up with you later though. Sure, we could set up something next week. Same time, same place? Yep, sounds good. See you then. Look at you having a life. Recycultist. We are recycultists, followers of the holy bin. As all have littered, all must accept that they are trash. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Sorry. Oh, is that trash? Okay. That's not weird. Why are you shining? Life's been... Pretty boy. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here helps me put things into, into perspective. I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. Too wholesome. Head ball pole that smells like rusty metal. Trash. The stench of this man is indescribable. What you making that face for, bub? Is there something on my face? I have I have definitely run into you downtown more than a few times. Schroeder?
When I was Olive Beanie. When I was younger, my family used to go to this park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle, but I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, it's definitely not here. My viewers don't show. Oh shit! Stream's over. Goodbye. Listen, I can handle low single digits, but high single digits? Uh-uh, I'm not about that. I have 30 bucks, apparently. Eleven? No. No, that's too spicy. No, I can't be right. Mm -mm. I refuse. Nah, no more digits. We can't have more digits. It's too many digits. It's a water fountain. You can see coins at the bottom. Oh, breaker. <laughs> it's all the emotes reverb. It's all the rat jam. I just made a wish that I would meet my one true love today. Oh, that's that's unfortunate for your coins. Extra spice sauce, please. Like the one I bought. <laughs> Look at that hair, too. <laughs> I read that story. <laughs> <laughs> Reading the headline was nuts. <laughs> oh, Low-income housing options for those who need it. No, we need this parking lot. I don't know what all this trash is used for, but probably going to hurt to pick it all up. Oh. Also, this fellow's immaculate parking job. Immaculate. Other mark. Oh, hobbies first? Alright. Alright, relax. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, everyone else is great, and this guy's just like, no, I am above the rules. Oh. I found a coin. Oh, does that go into the fountain? Would you like to throw a coin into the fountain? Yes! The coin fell straight to the bottom. I don't know what I expected. What is that? Hey, Space Boy. Well, no, he has a eye patch, so that is Cap. So that is Space Ex Boyfriend. I'm not taking the coins. Well, he there he is again, actually. Well, here we are at Hobbies. It's probably been a while since you were here, but it hasn't really changed all that much. It's all the same old stuff. Captain Spaceboy games, sweetheart movies, you say? A few pet rocks? Yeah, a lot of the inspo was here, man. It's Captain Spaceboy, sweetheart, the pet rock that he... That he... Yeah. Did he drop it? No, he dropped it. He doesn't have it anymore. Except now they're vintage. Actually, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for Hero. He's in college right now. So Hero's here too, then. Okay. But he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. He's studying to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine? That's not how that works, Kel. <laughs> no, that's a horrible idea. You should help pick out the gift, Sonny. Let's look around and see what there is. A new video game called Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3. Rated M for, M for Mature. That's too violent for Hero. He definitely won't appreciate something like this. M for Mature? Helpful CDs. Maybe you could play them at a jukebox. You see, he's look pretty cool, but I think Hero would appreciate something more sentimental. Let's keep looking. A bunch of small figurines. I've always been fond of these little guys. Hero would get mad at me for spending my lunch money on them, though. Let's not remind him that the thing I spent my lunch money on were crazy bones back in the day. But that was a very long time ago. Chock full of comics. Looking through these comics brings back so many memories. It's just like old times, huh, Sonny? Pogs. Oh, God, yes, Pogs. I never got too into Pogs, but I was definitely around when they were a huge thing. He was never too interested in the comics, though. Colorful Girl. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come from all the way to, even come all the way from the city to, stop, to shop here. <laughs> Who are you? My favorite novel just got a comic a adaptation. Adaption. Adaption? Adaption. But the main character looks nothing like how I imagined him. <laughs> That's kind of real. 90% test as someone that they know, Pogs. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
I liked Yu-Gi-Oh cards, if only because I actually knew how to play it properly. Like, everyone had Pokemon cards, but no one knew how to use them. A poster for a new game where you can travel across different worlds. Nothing you haven't seen. Hawks game Pokemon. I knew of Pogs because my brother, my older brother, was into him. A game called Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. It costs one dollar to play. No. Hey, Sonny, let's get Hero's Gift first. We can play later. An old video game console hooked up to a TV. I already have this console, Sonny, and I don't think I can afford to. Cardboard cutout of Captain Space Boy. Yeah, that's him. A capsule machine. It's three dollars to try. Hey, Sonny, let yeah, his Hero's Gift first, right? A poster for a new game where you can run around and fight evil monsters on skateboards. An interesting poster. Wow, the monster in the poster looks so realistic. I'll bet fighting that would be a tough battle. Will you challenge this monster to a battle? Alright, sure, why not? Pokemon card video game. I never... Oh, spooky. I never played the uh, Pokemon card video game, actually. Jackson. <laughs> Jason. Jackson slowly inches forward. You feel like you can't escape. Yeah, because it's going to be... Yeah, right? Exactly! And no one I knew owned that much energy, because you need a bunch of energy to actually play the game. <laughs> oh, nice face, Jackson. Hello? Sunny? Earth is sunny. Oh, a CD fell from behind the poster. Weird. I wonder who hid it there. I guess we could just take it? Sure. You got a Mary CD. Alright. Think about the resurgence of collectors and Pokemon. I didn't know there was actually a resurgence. Are they collecting, like, newer cards or the old, the old stuff? This. Yes! This is perfect. Papa Chips Chip Off the Old Block Cookbook. Ah, Hero likes cooking here, too. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Hero had a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog, Hector, destroyed it. He's going to be so happy when he sees this. But before that, you need to ask the most important question. How much does it cost? Twenty dollars! This is extortion! Shoot, I left my wallet at home. Um, did you now? Uh, can you spot me, Sonny? I'll pay you back, I promise. Thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. Bruh. You took Hero's Gift off the shelf. Bruh. Hey, shopkeep. We'd like to buy this cookbook, please. Cal, how have you been, buddy? It's been a while since you've come around, hasn't it? Ah, that's Papa Chip's Chip Off the Old Block Cookbook. Jeez. I see you have good taste. Yeah, my brother used to follow his recipes all the time. His cookies were my favorite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chip's work. That'll be $20, please. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. You got Hero's Gift. Only cost $20. Thanks a lot, Sonny. I bet Hero will love this. So, like, can we just go to your place and get the money back now? So, where do you want to go now, Sonny? Guess there's really not much to do around the suburbs, eh? Oh, how about the faraway park? The place I was just at? Yeah, the park! You passed it by on the way here. It sounds fun, doesn't it? Sure, I guess. Yo, I'm Michael, a soon-to-be chal- yeah, Michael. A soon-to-be <coughs> soon traveling mu musician. Ugh. I've been playing guitar here at the Town Plaza for years now, but I think I'm finally ready to move on. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything will help. <sighs> Take a dollar. Yes! You've donated one dollar to Guitar Guy. Hmm. Looks like I still have quite a bit to go before I can afford to leave town. Thank you. In return, I'll play you an original song. Oh, 
Okay. All right, Animal Crossing, relax. Literally Animal Crossing. Yeah, another time. Trash! I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this, but sure, you have to do something with it. Next, you're gonna be paying rent. <laughs> all right, e easy, easy now. Let's not be, let's not be ridiculous here. Rent's a, rent's a whole other thing. Hello, Scooter Gang? Oh, that's absolutely Basil. Wait, don't go, please. Sorry, dude, I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh. There's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. Yeah, sure, let's be heroes. This ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, then talk to her yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait, is that... It's Basil. It's absolutely Basil. I knew it. That's Basil! Leave him alone, you bully. Huh? Who's there? It's us. Oh, it's just Kel. Why don't you mind your own business? Why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Shh. Why aren't you acting all high and mighty? Don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Hmm, is that who I think it is? Oh, that, yeah, that's Aubrey. That has to be Aubrey. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, Aubrey. This nerd, this nerd Kel, <laughs> nerd, just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Cal, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Sonny. I'm sorry, I'm the silent protagonist. I can't do shit. Sonny's here? They're an old man, man and their scooter gang. Yeah, that fellow at the back does look kind of old. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> wow, really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three holy shit, three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. <laughs> Whatever. Aubrey, please. Oh, Basil. You marshmallow you. Listen to me. Ah! Hey, stop that! Leave it alone, Cal. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Ugh, Sonny, come on, you got to do something. <laughs> Are you guys really picking a fight? Yeah, she has a nail bat. Sure, why not? The two of you against me, how's that sound? Come at me, I'll take on the both of you. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's music. Damn. Holy shit! She's strong! Ah! What the- Is- Is that a knife? Wait. No, wait, really? Wait, really? Oh shoot, Aubrey, are you okay? You're- You're hurt. I'm fine. No, you're not, you're bleeding. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Ugh. I'll get you back for this. That's fucking right. Sunny has a knife. Real world, real world consequences in my RPG battles. Oh my god. <laughs> Turns out you can't just use a fucking knife. But she can use a nail bat, I guess. Whoa, that was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife there, or we would have. Wait a second. Give me that. Kill took away your steak knife. Yep. <laughs> there it is. You shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Sonny. That's dangerous. Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. The Basil. Yeah, right? Yeah, a little heavy. 
Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Hey, Basil, how are you doing? Ah, I'm fine. Thank you, Kel. I don't know if you noticed, but Sonny is here, too. Say hi, Sonny. Nope, protagonist. Oh, hey, Sonny. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh-huh. Woohoo. Woohoo! <laughs> what a happy reunion. So did you want to hang out with us today? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. He d Boy, he does not look well. I'd love to, but I, I should probably head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? My, um, my grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Oh, alright then. Thank you. Um, weren't you guys just going to drop me off? Alright, jeez. I don't know where you live, though. Hello? Oh, goodbye. That's not the way to Basil's house. Remember, Sonny? It's on the street that's diagonal from ours from the crosswalk. Oh, okay. Kitty! Oh, that has to be his. Look at all these plants. That's Basil's house. It's the one with the green roof. Um, thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Uh, okay. Yeah, he does not look well at all. Wait, please don't go. I mean, I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil, what do you need? Well, you see, something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends. Do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Okay, so... Real World Basil did that, as well as Dream World Basil. Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Right. Well, Aubrey, she took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album? The nerve. Well, she... She won't give it back. What a scumbag. Don't know why that word made me laugh. Don't you worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sonny got you covered. Ah, okay. Thank you. By the way... About what you said before. We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Kel is good people. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Hmm. Come on, Sonny, there's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check Faraway Park for clues. Yeah, let's do that. Sure, fine. I'd appreciate another way to get... I'm broke. I have nine dollars. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Looks like Aubrey isn't here. Oh, wait. I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil, and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? <laughs> Who, what, and where now? What do you do that for? Ah, if it isn't killing that weird knife guy. Yeah, that's me. Where are the adversaries for the great and mighty Angel? Finally, it is time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. <laughs> Even Kel's just like, no. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know. 
But first, you must best me in battle. Battle? But I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on, let's sick him, Charlie. Okay. <laughs> Charlie does not even fit on the fucking screen. He's huge. <laughs> oh, also, Kel's still at half health. Mmm. No es bueno. Uh, Angel. Kel encourages Sunny, raises Sunny's. Oh, that's good. Angel teleports behind Kel? What? Oh, yeah. Kel's the attacker here. Charlie doesn't seem to be doing much. Eh, you surprised me, Kel. You would make a worthy rival for my master. Kel, please. I'm just glad Charlie's not attacking. You... Go pay for this. <laughs> Charlie didn't do anything. <laughs> How could this be? My training was all for nothing. Ow, oh, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully. <sighs> okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. <laughs> we beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. <laughs> promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, in before he knows nothing, Aubrey is somewhere in faraway town. I fucking knew it. Probably. Dang it, Angel, you better not be messing around or else. I told you I'd tell you what I know. And the truth is, I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now, or else I'll tell everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. Oh. What? You can't do that? That's cheating! Anyway, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. What? <laughs> the Maverick? Oh no. You mean that weird kid, Mikhail? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see. So, it is him. Where can I find Mikhail? I mean, uh, the Maverick. I'll tell you what I know, but... You'll have to fight me for... Or I can just tell everyone about that time you... <laughs> okay, fine, I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. He said he was going to meet some girls there for a date or something. Ugh. Disgusting. Come on, Sonny. Let's go to faraway plaza. I think we're done here. Yeesh. Did I ever talk to you? Oh, hello. <laughs> you good, man? Ah, today is such a beautiful day, don't you think? I may not have any money, but at least sunlight is free. So anyways, lads, could you spare some change during this hard time? Ugh. Fine, take a dollar. Yes. Thanks, good lads. I'll be sure to pay you back somehow. A ah, heck. Oh, okay, this is good. Okay. Drink apple juice. Have you ever heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? The same concept applies to apple juice. Apple juice supports hydration. It contains beneficial plant compounds and may support heart health. It may also protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. So, would you like to buy some apple juice for $2? No. Okay, that's fine. As long as you're not buying any orange juice. Fuck you! That's an attack on me. Hello, youngins. I don't know if you've been watching where you're stepping, but there's quite a bit of trash around this town. If you happen to find any, can you bring it to me so I can dispose of it properly? Come on, youngins. Let's help the world one step at a time. Uh, well. Yep, I had some trash. Thanks, I'll be sure to dispose of this properly. 
Oh, eight dollars. So there was a point to all that trash. Not a not a huge one, mind you, but a point. Is there anything else I can buy? In my opinion, food is only a vehicle for sauce. What? There's so many types of tamales on the market now. Don't need any of that fancy stuff. Canned tamales are good enough for me. I'm assuming that's how you say that. If you're feeling stressed, may I suggest some tea? Earl Grey and chamomile are good, but boba is my favorite. Port tamale. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that seems correct. Oh. Closed on Sundays. Hmm. Hi. Bread. Smells toasty. A bakery smell is indeed a wonderful thing. Hello! Oh boy, what? <laughs> a cat's favorite. Oh, does this go to that cat? That stray cat? The cat we passed. I don't have money, so I can't support you. Raw sea meat smells fishy. Hey, Shab? Um. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Meats. You sell the good stuff. I have one job, and it's to sell meat. I hope we meet again. That was terrible. My son Billy is such a stickler for the environment. He and his friends are always picking up trash around the town. It's good to see so many young people these days taking care of the planet. Yes, these days. Young people. All the containers in this section can be recycled to create new containers over and over and over again. Such a beautiful concept, isn't it? Consultation. Medication. Wait. Free? B. Y'all clever. Hmm. Is there nothing I can do? Guess not. Kids need anything for cuts or scratches? Ew. Okay. Actually, let me just get the bandage. Wait, no, I'll get a bandage, another kit, and then I'll have enough to buy the fish for the cat. I want that cat to have the fish. Assuming that's what the fish is for. I don't know what else it could be. Yes, give me fish. This was a good detour. Is there a basket around here? Oh, God. And then I told him, it's not Maverick, it's THE Maverick. Oh, the Maverick, you're so funny. Oh, wow, what an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please, there's enough of me to go around. Mikhail, what are you doing? Ah. If it isn't Kel, my arch nemesis, really now. Finally here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikhail. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? S -s Stop calling me that. I cast that. I cast away that name a long time ago. Mikhail, do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name. How dare you make a fool out of me? I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Please, Mikhail, don't do this to yourself. I'm going to ask one more time. Fight me, you... you wad? Don't be a chicken. <sighs> Are we really gonna do this? Okay, then. Come on, Sonny. Let's take him down. 
Oh, Kel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. Look at this man. Uh, Kel's gonna have to use a pack on himself. First aid kits are not toys, but I will use them as such. Perfect. Half of his shirt is tucked in. Look at look at this look at this guy. Look at this dude. Tuck your other half of your shirt. What are you doing? The Maverick smiles seductively. Kel's attack fell. I don't like that at all. <sighs> Not bad, but this fight's just getting started. To his credit, he does have quite a bit of HP. Just making fun of Kel. Kel feels angry. Not sure that's the thing you want, buddy. Eh, as expected of my rival. But I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, please tell me you were studying the blade. I was honing my techniques just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. Eh, that'll do. You wasted a turn, chump. Ha! Ah, is that all you've got? I've only been used. I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form. I bet you're regretting your decision now. I'm just way too, way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. This guy can talk. It's only a matter of time before you tie yourselves out. My victory is imminent. I'll admit, I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. Oof. No, this is impossible, improbable, absolutely inconceivable. Oh, okay, you're done. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I won't let it end like this. Oh, thank God it's over. No, it can't be over for me. People of Earth. What? Lend me your strength! What is with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth ten dollars. <laughs> this isn't worth ten dollars. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Ladies, please come back. I have more money. Yikes. What? That's a wig. Kale. There is no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell us where Aubrey is, and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is, and I'll tell you. On one condition. You must call me by my true name, the Maverick... Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are major sugarheads, so I have a hunch that they're probably somewhere near Candy. Good lord, that guy! Alright, first... Well, let me save, actually. There it is. I need to feed that cat. Here it is. Oh, it doesn't want the fish? What the 
fuck's the fish for then? Hmm. Well, either way, keeping it. My fish. Hello. Goodbye. Let me tell you a story. I was walking back from Fix-It after making a purchase with my hard-earned money, when I looked down, and lo and behold, my brand new garden shears are missing. Yes, it's true. My new garden shears tore a hole open in my plastic bag. Oh, how silly I felt just then. Do you think you could help me find them? They should be somewhere around here. Sure? Oh, look at that. Ah, thank you, boys. I'll be sure to never make such a silly mistake ever again. It's rare to see young boys willing to help a stranger these days. Please feel free to come to my house anytime. You will always be welcome. Sure, that's normal. But hey, why not? Shoe rack. Nice place, actually. Someone left their planner open. The words Kim and Vance were written in for last week. I know who Kim is, not Vance. Books and magazines. A nice lamp. Looks like it's used every now and then. Yes. Avocados, eggs, blueberries, and grapefruit. Not bad. Not bad. State of the art slow cooker, perfect for busy or lazy moms. At least that's what you heard on a commercial once. <laughs> She's in her own room. Uh, I better know what this room is for. A yoga mat. Yoga is good for you as it strengthens the connection between your body and spirit. At least that's what mom told you once. Never done yoga myself. Probably wouldn't be a bad thing. Pruning should be done regularly to maintain the shape of your bonds. Yeah, she has a lot of them, actually. All bonds have to grow at different rates, so it is necessary to evaluate each tree's growth and adjust your trimming to accommodate. Didn't know that! This bed seems decent, but the sheets would gather up too much heat at night for your liking. You would rate it a, a 6 out of 10. Okay. Got a bed connoisseur here. Bamboo stalks. At least that's what you think they are. Mirror. Mirror. Snip, 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 snip. Ah, hi there, you two. I didn't expect you so soon. Look here, caring for these bonsai is a hobby of mine. It helps me relieve stress. After this, I'm going to start preparing dinner for my children, Kim and Vance, tonight. Hmm. I better not be late again, or else... St oh, God. No shit. Yeah, that is Aubrey, and that is Kim. Hmm. I guess they really are good friends. This bed is a little on the soft side, but overall not too bad. You would rate it a 7 out of 10. This bed is a little on the soft side, also 7 out of 10. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh... I feel like Kim is going to be a fight again, so I'm just gonna use this now. I don't really know. Well, no. Candy would probably be at the store, so. Yeah. Here somewhere. Yeah, okay, there it is. Mm. 
Hmm. Knowing him advanced, they're probably somewhere around here. Oh, hey, there she is. Hurry, Vance, shove it, shove it all in our pockets before someone sees us. Shoplifting. Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey anywhere? Shoot, it's that nerd Kel. Come on, Vance, we gotta go. Whoa, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of the way, nerd. You don't know me. Hey, hey, hold on. I'm not here to snitch. I, we just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? Uh, I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Because you're a nerd. <sighs> I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. I thought you said you weren't a snitch. Uh-oh. And I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? I thought I told you to never come back in here, smiley smiley. Uh-oh. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids, smiley smiley. We've been busted. Fine, here's your stupid candy. Come on, Vance, let's get out of this dump. Oh, okay, that's Vance. So, I guess that makes him brother and sister? Ah, serves you right. Wait, how will we find out where Aubrey is now? <sighs> Come on, Sonny, let's follow them. <clears throat> Were you always here? Welcome, we hope our candy makes you smile. I told you, curtsy! It's smiley! Oh, I told you, curtsy. Smiley! Yes, ma'am. Holy shit. <laughs> Hold up one sec, Sonny. I think I have an idea. You bought candy for them, didn't you? Sorry for the holdup. Let's go catch up to Kim and Vance. <clears throat> Probably bought candy for them, I'm gonna guess. Good thing they're so slow. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No, not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. <laughs> We're going to die. Uh, let's just go home. We're gonna be late for dinner. I know it is us. Wait, Kim, I have something for you. You again, Kel? What the heck do you want, you bully? What? Tell us where Aubrey is, and I will give you this whole big bag of candy. Really? The whole bag? I mean, wait. You can't buy us off with candy. Who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. And there's a whole bag right in front of us. You don't even have to pay for it. Can you at least ask if he has any taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we'll be, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay. We'll do it for you, sis. Okay, yeah, there, brother and sister. Kim. Vance. Big bag. Of, don't worry. It, it, it's completely legit. It's a good big bag of candy. You can trust it. I'm waiting. Heh. <laughs> like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. But nerds are candy. Oh man, really? I was sure that would work. This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait! Please, Kim, you're the only lead we've got. Please take the big bag of candy. We we even have Taffy in there. Did someone say Taffy? Hmm. Taffy's not a thing I have often, but I do remember enjoying it. I see. That changes everything. Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists. What? If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. Like, I knew we were going to fight, but this? But if we win, you give us that bag of taffy and never talk to us ever again. Wait a sec. There's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you this whole bag. But I want to fight. Come on. Put them up, you two. It's time to duke it out. What is with you guys inviting? Well, I guess we have no choice. 
Come on, Sonny. You know the drill. I'll show you that size isn't everything. I'm not about to lose to nerds like you. I'm going after you first. All right. Oh, that's 33 damage. I am not a fan of Vance. Holy shit! Good lord! Your face annoys me. Fucking... Oh my god. Oh, now Kel is sad. But that's actually not bad, because sadness increases defense, so... Yeah, I'll take it. Still nerds. Alright, she's out. Now it's just a big lad. I'm actually pretty glad that she made Kel sad, because that just gives him more defense and lets him tank this stuff more. Because they don't seem to be attacking Sunny at all. I just realized that. You're going down, big lad. Ouch. That hurts. Oh yeah, this is in the bag. Dang. Only one of us in Taffy. But you're gonna get it. We didn't even have to fight you. Hmm. Hmm. Can't believe we lost. We can never let Aubrey know about this. Come on, Kim, we gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner, and Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. I wanna check that house after. Shoot, let's get out of here. Wait, where do you think you're going? We won, so you need to tell us where Aubrey is. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Aubrey's at the church. The one near her house. Hmm. Huh? Aubrey's at church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the ones who wanted to know. Also, if she asks who told you, tell her it wasn't me. Say it was... Mikhail or something. <laughs> Come on, Kim, we gotta scoot. You know how Mom gets when we're late. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Let's go. Smell you later, nerds! At the church, huh? Oh, nuts. They took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking. I mean, you were gonna give it to them anyway. Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh, well. At least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least I think we do. I can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe it when I see it. Alright. Ugh. Hmm. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, before we head to the ch well, I actually don't really know where the church is. But before that, I want to see if I can, um, see what the house is like. Huh, thought well, they'd be here. No, it's just her still. Hmm. Yeah, it's Kim and Vance. I guess it's just not something that can happen while we're here. That's fine. Alright, where the hell's this church? Hello? Yellow Bun Granny. Excuse me. Sorry to impose, but you look you look like some trustworthy people. You think you can help me? I need to pick up this week's medication at the pharmacy, but I'm feeling a bit weak at the moment. I usually send my daughter Charlene, but she's not here right now. Can you be so kind as to pick it up for me? Sure, why not? Thank you, children. Just talk to the man at the pharmacy. He'll understand. Got a prescription and an ID card. Wow. 
Damn, you really you really out here trusting us, huh? Church isn't over here because that road was closed. What's up, Mikhail? You can't run here, and it annoys me, but it makes perfect sense, and I hate it. Hello. Hmm, hello. How can I help you? Get a prescription card and ID. Ah, you're here to pick up some medication. Oh, I know who this is for. I'll bring it right out. You got Granny's medicine. You're picking up her medicine in place of her daughter today? I'm not actually supposed to give out medication like this. Indeed, you are not. I, but I usually make an exception for her since she doesn't have a way to come here herself. Thanks for helping her out. You kids have a nice day. If you ever need bandages or first aid kits, I've got you covered here. I like that they made him, like, say that. They put that in for the dialogue because they, they acknowledge that it's just like, this isn't usually a thing that happens. <laughs> but you don't just, like, give medication to people showing up with uh, prescriptions and ID cards. All right, there you are. Oh, you came back. Well, yeah. Excuse me. Thank you so much. You've been a big help. It's nice to see the youth helping helping us old folks. You're all welcome to my home anytime. Sure. Hello? A wheelchair? My youngest daughter is usually so attentive of me. I wonder where she is. She's always been pretty quiet, but she's made a lot of new friends recently. I hope she doesn't forget about me. Hmm. No. Could that be Aubrey? Youngest daughter. I wonder. Ma. Return addresses are from all over the country. Impressive. Read that one already. What's in the fridge? Yogurt, asparagus, and some type of medication. Trash? Oh. Newspaper and magazines, they seem to have accumulated over a long period of time. Oh, holy certificates. A slew of certificates and awards lined this hall. The oldest one dates back to almost 20 years ago. <laughs> Alright, we will explore the rest of this another time. For now, I do want to find that church and get the plot moving. Assume it's down. Can't. Dazzle's house is here. Not so good looking houses over here. Perhaps that's for the best. Can't take it. Hmm. Hello? I assume we follow. Trash? No. Oh. Mega Pokemon vibes? Yeah. Oh, these are the figures. Yeah, you feel as if it is judging you. Oh, Aubrey's old blue bike. Okay, yeah, she's here. Well, here we are. This really is the last place I would expect her. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. I'll open the door a little to take a peek. Hmm, looks normal to me. 
I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. Hmm. She's just sitting there. All normal. So weird. Yeah, I'd feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon is over or something. Uh... Yes. You may feel bad, but I do not. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't expect you to just walk in like that, Sonny. Well... There's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. Our walking is very, very slow. <laughs> you shouldn't disturb others during the sermon. I, I guess. There she is on the right. Let's walk to the pew behind her. Oh, we can't go any further. All right. Aubrey. Psst. Aubrey. What the... What the heck are you guys doing here? We want you to give back Basil's photo album. You still on about that? That's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business? At one point, I considered becoming Catholic. Really? I know my uh, dear old parents want... Well, okay, my mom at least wanted me to be a Christian, but that didn't turn out so hot. Yeah, Cal. Exactly. We used to be friends. We used to be friends. You know, Mari would be really sad to hear that. <laughs> really? You really want to bring Mari into... Is she really dead? Is she... She's dead, isn't she? Who cares what Mari thinks? Mari's dead. Okay, thank you for uh, thank you for the confirmation. So she is dead. Hmm. Aubrey, seriously? I don't think we're speaking quiet anymore. What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. Oh, but she can, and people do! My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is all about? When Mari passed on, we were all dealing with her own stuff. Okay. I suppose this might explain why uh, Sunny hasn't come outside in, what, three years? Well, sort of. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple. You've always been simple, Kel. He's a, he's a simple guy. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How can you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you can just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. Ugh. You're so persistent. When Mari died, you moved on so fast. Mm. On Based on the limited knowledge I have of Kel so far, it doesn't seem like he would linger for too long. If anything, he would move fast to deal with it in his own way. You know why I came here? You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Kel. A lot changes in four years. You and Sunny think you can just barge back into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive. You might look di different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. <laughs> the Aubrey you knew is long gone. Oh, no. And the Aubrey that was your friend? She's long gone, too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want, here. I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mari. Ditched my cousin. Yeah, uh, heavy theme suddenly, yeah. I I always just figure people have their own ways of dealing with loss, because that's uh that's not that's not a single size uniform, so to speak. <laughs> no, I won't accept this. Uh, -oh. wait, where are you going? We interrupt the sermon now. I can't let you. I can't let you go until you promise you'll give Basil his photo album back, you thief. What's happening? Basil? Isn't that the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully? Now she's stealing as well. Oops. 
Oh boy. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Kel? And I'm the big bad bully. Here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. I feel like... I feel like there might be a misunderstanding here that could probably be explained in a sentence, but won't be. You're the one hanging out with the psychopath who carries around a knife. Oh yeah, that's me. Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first. Oh boy. Uh, that's good. Oof. Look at her clothing. It is completely inappropriate for church. Uh, Kel, you guard. Oh god, even with guard, that killed. I can't believe she would bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. I'm dying. Well, Kel's dying. Might as well just attack. Why are you here? Well... Kale has blacked out, and he needs to be taken to the nearest Pokemon Center. What do these delinquents think they're doing? This is a place of worship. Fucking hell! Someone needs to stop them. Where are their parents? I don't have any things left to use. Calm down. Great. Aubrey spits on your shoe. That girl is a threat to this neighborhood. There's no hope for sinners like her. Hmm. Hmm. Spits on shoe again. I always thought she would be trouble. The pastor should have kicked her out a long time ago. Oh boy. Ow? Children these days have no respect. I hope my kids don't turn out like her. Fuck. Honey is a bit judgmental. Ow! That's it. <laughs> Serves you right, Kel. Now, leave me alone. Was I supposed to lose that? Well, no, I don't think I would have if I had supplies, but those are in short supply. Ah, ever since her father left, she's so un uncontrollable, disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Oof. Oh boy. Shoot. I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this was a bad idea. It was an idea. Oh, we can talk to them. Where are your manners off brawling about like that? You should be ashamed. Thank you, old man. I reserve my judgment. The Lord will be the one to judge you. <laughs> ah, yes. Very good. It's about time that girl ran off. Now maybe all my friends will come back to church again. I just wanted to spend my day off in peace. What? Our family... A twin. Our family comes to church once a week. The other twin. Sometimes twice. Sometimes thrice. That's that's a lot of church friends. Oh dear. Looks like our youngest son didn't show up to church again. Uh, make it. It's not Mikhail. It's the Maverick. Where are you? Why must you make your mother worry? It's the Maverick. Hmm. I usually wouldn't condone fighting in the middle of a sermon. But that seemed really important. That... Okay. That girl Aubrey has come here every week for the past few years, but she never talks to anyone. I tried to ap approach her a few times, but she keeps calling me. Or... Bad things. She she seems very troubled. Perhaps she could use a friend. I'm usually not okay with fighting, but that, that fight seemed pretty important. I know she had a nail bat and shit, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah. 
as time marches on, eh? Oh, that's her house. Oh, dear. Did, did you see us? Maybe it doesn't even matter. Did you see that? Aubrey just dumped something into her trash can. Let's go check it out. Whoa, I don't believe it. Basil's photo album! I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now, and it only took us a half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sonny? Do you want. Yeah, sure. He's. Achievement unlocked up high. Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. Huh. Not a great looking place. Maybe it's better inside. Okay, Basil's house was this way. Cat! Knock, knock! Basil, it's your friends, Kel and Sonny! You're not Basil. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait. You're not Basil. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, hey, Cal. What is it? Hi, Basil. We got your photo album back. You, you did? Wow. Thank you. We gave Basil back his photo album. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure. Sounds delicious. See, that, that can be a real hit or miss, because you never know what they're having for dinner. And it could be very bad. Come on, Sonny, free dinner. But then again, it is free. Kel makes a good point. Please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Ah, uh, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's Basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we've got your photo album back, we can all go through the photos together. Ah, uh, that's... Uh, I don't know. It's been a while since you've looked through them, hasn't it? I feel like there was more... There was more to Aubrey, like, stealing the photo album than her just simply stealing the photo album. It's been a while since you've looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Uh, sure, okay. Like, I feel like there's more to it. Boop. Here it is. Hmm. Got some missing ones. Oh, Sunny played the violin. My first photo. It's my best friend Sonny trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister Mari. So exciting. I wish you could read the scribbles next to them, but I guess you can't, unless the photo is there. Just Kel being Kel. So many party hats. Oh, Kel, you absolute mad lad. Sonny playing a video game on the couch. Sonny's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. Like, I never really reply, right? Like, absolutely silent, unless it's a yes or no question. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. Hmm. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. Oh yeah, there's Hero. He challenged Hero to an armlet wrestling match, but we all know who's going to win. Look at the poor man struggle. <laughs> Please go easy on him, Hero. Oof. Sorry, Hell. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing to Hero in, ar in arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. 
Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, oh, brotherly love. That's the most emotion I've seen on your face, Sonny. He's showing Sonny a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this while I wasn't paying when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. Aww. It's all of us cuddling with Sonny stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Mari's teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Oh, this is from the Dream World, actually. Here's Sonny and Kel holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mari thought so, too. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during the springtime. Yeah, kinda. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. Which would explain her hair. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Just Kel being Kel again. He went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside, since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. I will take your word for this. Well, the watermelon photo. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Kel cooling off with some refreshing orange Joe. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Kel is known to spill his drinks. Haha, <laughs> I like that one. We buried Sonny in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's going to need hope getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. Oh, I love that picture. Yay, Sonny is turning 12 today. Oh, okay, so he's 12 years old. Even though to, even though me, Sonny, Aubrey, and Kel are in the same school this school year, Sonny is younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Photos. Sonny holding a super huge present from Mari and Hiro. Hmm, wonder what it is. You can't really tell from the photo, but Mari and Hiro got Sonny a giant building block set. Sonny seems much more interested in the box, though. He's a cat. He acts just like Mari's new kitten, Miwo. 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 Miwo? Hmm. Sonny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Sonny and Miwo's new home. Miwo. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sonny's there too. He looks kind of sleepy. I, w <laughs> I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. Nah, that's that's legit. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sonny, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. Uh, goodbye, Summer. Until next year. Oh, that's it. So, hey, none of these pictures have Mari in them. Any picture that would have Mari in it does not seem to be there. Hmm. Yep, done as I'll ever be. Oh man, it looks like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was. I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. I can't wait until he comes back. This year, I'll finally be the taller brother. <laughs> anyway, don't sweat it about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sunny will take care of things for you. You just focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. Yeah, just cheer up, bro. Okay, thank you. I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner's taking longer than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure. I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Oh, that would be lovely. Please, follow me. The kitchen is this way. Hmm. Okay, we can move again. I'm going to take a short break, because I've been at this for a little longer than I thought I was. So yeah, be right back.
Alrighty, I am back, which means so is the game. Oh. Okay, sound on, screen switch, oh, Mogo. Flowers, flowers, a fancy potted plant. Bunch of books. Most of them are about gardening and indoor plant care, as expected. Oh. Hi, Sonny. You are real apprehensive around me. You're also watching me. Go away, Mouse. A cactus. Sturdy and resilient. Just like Cal. A picnic basket. Cabbages, carrots, mushrooms, and tofu. Mmm. Stir fry. Tonight for dinner, we'll be making chicken vegetable soup. How's that sound? Soup and veggies? Sounds nutritious and delicious. You really think so? I was afraid you'd be a bit disappointed. People always tell me that my taste is a bit bland. Don't worry about what other people think. All food is good to me. I'll eat anything you throw at me. Dinner will be ready soon. Please feel free to make yourself at home. He did say that his grandmother wasn't feeling well. I assume this would be her? Basil's grandmother is breathing steadily. A white egret orchard. Or orchid. Orchid. <laughs> orchid. Orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Hmm. An interesting statement for this game. Basil. Oh, Sonny. I didn't expect to see you in here. Aha. Uh -huh. He, like... He looks perpetually worried and uncomfortable in this world. How are you doing, Sonny? Is everything okay with you? Okay. Never mind, then. Oh, did we legit just not respond? Grandma can't hear us, you know? She hasn't been feeling very well lately. It's already been four years, hasn't it? Uh, it's nice to see that you're still around. Even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you can probably use it more than me. Might as well give you his photo album. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. I, I'm i assuming he's referring to Mari's death. It's hard to remember now, but I think, at the time, I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Damn, look at you high on power, Kathy, deleting your own messages. Flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day, things can go back. Things can go back to the way they were before. Sonny, Basil, dinner's ready. Okay, coming. Just perpetually concerned and uncomfortable and worried. I don't know. I don't think he feels great around Sonny. But maybe he just doesn't feel great in general. A few months ago, Basil's parents hired me as Basil's caretaker, since they travel out of the country frequently. Ah. Come on, Sonny, let's have dinner. What took you so long? Polly and I worked really hard on this. Hurry up and take a seat, Sonny. Yep, we'll eat some. Ah, yes. The silence of dinner, where you can only hear plates clinking. I don't- I don't miss it. 
Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipes. Thanks for your help, Cal. So as I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow, my dearest... Sorry, my dearest. My older brother, Hero, is finally coming back from college. My mom is all crazy right now, preparing the house and everything. Man. Don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Hello. I am pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. <laughs> Tuna. This year is the year. That I'm... Well, I'm going to be taller than him. I can feel it in my bones. Please swallow before you... Anyway. You and your brother seem close. That's good. Family is important. Oh, hey. What you doing with Basil's photo album there, Sonny? Uh, oh, I... I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Oh, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Sonny's moving away and all. What? Oh god, even the humming stopped. Oh boy. Basil didn't know that. Uh-oh. Sonny's m moving? Ah! I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. Sorry, I thought you already knew. Oh. Uh. No, I guess I must have missed it. S sorry. Um. May I be excused? I, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He's not thrilled about that. What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. You, thank, thank you, Kel. Truly, you are a poet. Basil's been going to the bathroom a lot lately. I hope it's not my food. Hmm. Oh, let's go check on him. Uh, this. Wait, no, actually, I didn't even see the other rooms. Oh, there's his camera. Basil's camera looks really dusty, so he hasn't used it. Comfortable looking bed. 10 out of 10. Watering pail. Potted plant. Flowers. Books on gardening. Yep. Bathroom's always the middle door. I appreciate that, uh, consistency. Oh, good! Oh, good! Everything is going to be okay. 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 Oh, boy. Uh, oh, it's you. Sunny. You're here. I'm so glad. You... You can see it, too, can't you? Something behind you. Uh, wait, please, Sonny, don't leave me. Not again. Oh, well, I left. I wanted to see what was behind me, but ev evidently that just makes me leave. And we are not going back in there. Well then. Oof. Oh, hey, Sonny. I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So yeah. Anyway, Paul, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just down the block. Thanks, Kel. You're sweet. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Say goodbye to Basil for me. Okay, we can't, we can't go back, huh? Basil! Oh, Basil! Aw, oh, poor guy. He's always had a weak stomach. Hope he feels better soon. Oh. oh. You're probably wondering who I am, right? I'm nobody, really. Just a nurse who was taking care of Basil's grandmother. A few months ago, Basil's parents hired me as Basil's caretaker since they traveled out of the country frequently. I try to do as much as I can for Basil while I'm here, but ever since I've started staying here, I can't shake the feeling that Basil is trying to avoid me. 
I wonder if I'm doing something wrong. Oh, that must... Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not her, but it must suck to be wondering that. Tis night. Still cars. There was a cat up there, but I guess it's gone now. Oh, and this cat's gone. Hm. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this fish. Kale. Save again, because we're here. Hey, Sonny. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, he was coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before he before you leave. So if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Sonny. Sweet dreams. Oh, my dreams will surely be sweet. It's a whole world, in fact. Oh, there's the bad noise. Whispering. Oh. Ah, yes. Sonny does have arachnophobia. Got some spooters. Do you still recognize your home? Oh, I saw you. I see you there. Can't get any closer, though. Lots of hands out there. Mar Mari hasn't been home in a long time. It appears only the open boxes speak. Oh, fuck off. Don't fuck off with that. Ah. <sighs> uh. And it's gone, I guess. Yes, knife, give. I don't know what I expected from that, honestly. Interesting how a lot of these aren't... These things are like spider-like, but not spiders. They're definitely supposed to be spiders. Oh, that's why I needed the knife. <laughs> Got something at the bottom there. Hmm. I would like to reach that door, but I cannot. Because this is apparently a box. turn back. Oh, I don't need that on my screen. Mm. Okay. Okay. Deathly afraid of them. Oh my god. And of course, there you are.
Goodbye. Hello? That... that's Mari. Hmm. Oh shit. Hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, okay. So this one's spiders. The last one I remember was heights. Let's calm down. Okay, no longer afraid. Okay. Many legs and a big toothy grin. Something. <laughs> I'm not sure this is a rat jam moment, but you know what? You do you. Something is trying to talk to you. Attack did nothing. Be calm again. Oh, yeah, there's a bite. This is getting nowhere fast. Oh, Sonny. Is that this thing saying that to me? I remember the last one talked to me as well. Ow. Well, my attacks do nothing, so I'm just going to keep using Calm Down. Because that recovers me as well. It seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things. And figure out what's important. Clear your mind, and remember how to focus. Hmm. And we're good. It's a spider. A, sing a single spider? Problem solved. Hmm. I see you there. Oh, doesn't matter because we're not going out there, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Dirty dishes. A microwave. I didn't get a good look at what that was behind me. I know it was something. I guess that's it. Nope. I remember there was a glowing door at the bottom of the staircase back when it was, like, Spiderland. And I was on this side, but I, there's no door. Odd. Check the parents' room. Oh, there's a basket. Appreciated that. Brush teeth, yep. Yep, thank you. Okay, great. <laughs> that thing is just going to torment me forever, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, we're still not doing our chores. Okay. Guess all that's left to do is sleep. Oh god, let's get some pastel in our lives. Bad noise. Achievement unlocked. Oyasumi. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, Sumi. Sunny Kun. Hi there. Welcome to White Space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. Oh, gods. Are we going back to Dreamville? I'd appreciate it. Music's different. Waiting for something to happen. Any new sketches? Nope. Same old hands. Oh! Oh. That was definitely Mari. Alright, let's just go to the door then. A light door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Ah, uh, so pastel. Mori, welcome back! See, Hero? I told you not to worry. Omori always shows up when we need him. Is everything okay, Omori? We were worried about you. Now that you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Kel. We have to make sure that Omori is okay first. Or maybe you and Hero can go your yourselves. Come on, Omori. Let's go exploring together. Just the two of us. Hey, you can't leave us out of this. He's right, Aubrey. We have to do this together as a team. You never know when you'll need someone's help. We're stronger when we work together. Hm. Amori and I will be fine on our own. Um, you'll protect me, won't you, Amori? Ew, gross. Get a room. Don't do it, man. She has cooties. Cooties bad. Come on, Aubrey. It's time to get serious now. Let's go tell Mari that Amori is okay. You know how she's always worrying about him. Okay, okay, fine. I was just trying to have a little fun. Where were you? Egg. Pentacle. I'll figure out what you're for someday. Going out, Amori? Use your allowance for today. 750 clams. I'm rich as fuck in the dream world. I can't bring my friends into white space with me, can I? Yeah, I guess not. There. What's up, best friend? Did you miss me? <laughs> Hi, Amori. I'm so happy to see you. Hey, Amori. Are you all ready to go? Yeah. All right, ev all right everyone. Let's go find Basil. All right. Uh, this way. There she is. Alive and well. Here, at least. Hi, Mari. Look, Amori is here. Amori! Oh. Stop disappearing like that. You know my heart can't take it. Hmm. So there's still no sign of Basil. Where could he be? 
We're not sure. We've been looking for him everywhere and still nothing. Uh, I hope Basil is okay. I miss him so much. Yeah, I miss he hearing him talk about all the stuff he's into. Like all the flower stuff. And the photo stuff. And the art stuff. And the reading stuff. Wow. My hair is so tangly. I miss when Basil used to brush my hair. Maury, will you brush it for me? <laughs> well, I miss when Basil used to remind me to wash my hands. Look, they're so dirty, Kel. Ew, Kel! Kel, you should probably wash your hands anyway. Especially now. Everyone, I know it's tough right now, but we have to stay positive. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil is upset, he always manages to smile. So is there anywhere you haven't checked yet? Well, there's a forest west of the stump, but... It's gross and full of spiders. Uh, Spiders. Well, you know what that means. Once again, it's time to face your fears, little brother. And that means you too, hero. <laughs> Come on, big bro, you can't back out now. It's just like how it is with Amori. We're here to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys. If anyone or anything tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out of the way. You can count on it. And don't forget about me. I'll always be there to help, too. Like, here. Yeah. Yeah. We can do this together. Let's go to the forest west of the stump. Lead the way, Amori. I see a quest from you first. Burly. Hey, Van. Van. Come here for a second. Okay, yeah, so I just realized these two are based off of Kimberly and Vance. <laughs> yeah. And he has candy stuck to his back. Because cause he loves candy. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Did you want something, Burly? Yeah, stand right there and look this way. Okie dokies. Aubrey, come here. What do you want now, Burly? Aubrey. Aubrey, Aubrey, Aubrey. What's with that sassy tone? Come on, we're best friends. Now, you see that big guy over there? I know who Van is. Great. Go on and give him a good whacking for me. What? Why? What if he gets hurt? Always with the questions. Can't you just do something without thinking for once? Go on, smash. Very well. Okay, there. I did it. Now what? Do it again. Do it until I say stop. Okay. But what am I doing exactly? No questions. Only smash. You're getting somewhere, I think. Come on, you can do it. Stamina, stamina. I can take a hit. How long do I have to keep doing this? Until I say stop. Don't slow down now. Help. My arms feel like noodles. Keep pushing, you're almost there. I think I'm going to pass out. Please, just one more smash. Let her smash. Smash! Smash! Aubrey gained 50 juice. Oh, alright. What was that all about? Nah, nothing really. I was just bored. But honestly, this is pretty boring too. What? That's all? Hey, at least you got something out of it. I'm still bored here. Come on, Van. Let's play some tetherball. I... I just don't get burly at all. Oh, that's cool, at least. Oh, I got your thing, too. Is that a flower puzzle? For me? Maybe Neb will finally notice me now. Oh no, I said his name! Please pretend you didn't hear that. 
Thank you for the flower puzzle. Here's a gift in return. I is it a dandelion? I picked a bunch of them earlier. Aren't they pretty? Oh, it's a daisy. A daisy from Daisy. I wonder when I should give this to him. Hopefully you figure it out. Oh, I guess it's um not equipped then. There it is. Heart plus ten where starts happy in battle. Hmm. Well now that's not bad. I want Aubrey to be angry though. Uh, I'm gonna just hang on to this for now. Ah yes, some nutritious candy. Alright, back to Dream World antics. Gotta say, I kinda missed it. Oh, that is obviously Mikhail. Mikhail, I'm going to swing to the moon. Hello. Sweetheart presents Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Riveting, Sweetheart. Seven, six stars, Sweetheart. A Sweetheart production for Sweetheart by Sweetheart. Sweetheart. You guys still haven't found Basil yet? You guys are such losers. Let me know if you find him, okay? I just want to know that he's safe. <laughs> he's a he's a gigantic softy, and I love him. Mir. Well. So they said uh, missed the stump. Oh boy, oh boy. I've been waiting so long for this event. It is a delightful day indeed. Moles. Sprout moles. Oh yes, oh yes. At last, our glorious Princess Sweetheart will finally make her appearance. Oh my, oh my. I can barely contain my excitement. This show is sure to be the most electrifying of them all. Oh dear, oh dear. We must hurry. Our four front row show tickets are right here. We are in for the time of our lives and must not be late. Now, which, which, which way do we go again? Hmm. Time to get some show tickets, I guess. Bread slice. Counter. Rebound. And Aubrey is going to need a snack. Nice. Smack! Mac! Counts are good. Okay, let me try bread slice again. One for the road. Achievement unlocked. You found you found show tickets. Did we now? Hey, cool! These brought most draw some tickets! Let me see. Oh, they're front row tickets for some kind of show. Featuring Sweetheart? Wasn't that Captain Space Boy's ex-girlfriend? Yeah, it looks like some sort of contest or something. If we happen to pass by, we should stop and watch. Yes, happen to pass by. We do have front row show tickets, after all. Well, alright. Maybe we can drop by if we happen to come across it. So hey, we just, like, killed those moles and just took their tickets, huh? I guess that's fine. Bread. A slice of life. I guess it literally is, yeah. 60 heart. Not bad. So, this way. It's a little bit foggy. Ah, here it is. Ready to do this, Amori? We'll be right here if you need us. Right, hero? Huh? Y yeah, of course. Smash! 
we're no longer afraid of spiders. Easy peasy. Amori, thanks for taking one for the team. Hero really doesn't like spiders, huh? Firefly Forest. Uh, on second thought, let's look for Basil somewhere else. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. Don't be such a baby, Kel. There are just some spider webs here and there. Ah, there's a spider in your hair! Where? Get off! Ah, just kidding. Look who's scared. Look who's the scared one now. <laughs> it's not very funny, Kel. These things are neat. Slice. Onion rings. There's an empty joke book here. Pick it up. You got a joke book. The surface of the water is shimmering. Do you want to throw ten clams into? Yeah, I can spare that. Hi. Ah, uh, hey, it's me, the Weeping Willow, the goddess of the lake. Thanks for the clams, I guess. They say that money can buy happiness, but apparently it's not working. I don't think they say that, actually. Can you do something funny for me? Maybe tell a joke? Really? You call me out here for nothing? <sighs> what a waste of time. I'm sure we have to fill up that joke book. <laughs> so, I wasn't even going to bother. The fuck? A peculiar face is indented into the wall. You are not sure what it means. That's the sword flower. And this thing looks a lot like the uh, Lily of the Valley. Melon! Got a chicken wing! I got a breadfruit. Breadfruit juice? Breadfruit juice? Breadfruit juice? Does not taste like bread. Breadfruit juice. I'm not even a fan of regular breadfruit. I see but are those spider bunnies? Okay. Just heading back now, don't mind me. Cool. An, un an uninteresting book. Interesting book. Hmm, what to read? What to read? Uh, I've read every book on this shelf over 20 times already. If only I had something more interesting to read. Okay, by Scott. I see spooters on this one. Spiders around this web. You need a matchbox to light this candle. Guess I can't do anything about that for now. Hero is afraid of spiders. Oh, he's act he actually starts out afraid! Because it's a spider bun! I'm sorry, a bug bunny. Doesn't even have eight legs, what? <gasps> maybe... Mm, maybe I should give Hero that daisy, actually. Alright, Aubrey, you, you, you chew Hero up. Hell, I know I ought... Well, actually, we'll just do it this way. Oh god, 42 damage, what the fuck? Damn. Get wrecked, spider bun. Okay, if I give Hero this uh, daisy, will he still start out every battle afraid? Let's find out. Eat some candy. This game has been pretty generous with healing items. Fight me! He was afraid of spider. Nope, the daisy does not help. Good to know. That is unfortunate.
can't use your skills while you're afraid, I see. But we can attack. I should use Headbutt, actually. Good point. I'll do that next time. They both get angry. <laughs> uh, this will be a good headbutt now. Have some candy. Okay, never mind. You're dead. That was pretty good. Except for Kel dying, of course. Aubrey learned twirl. Alright, let's use more snacks on you, buddy. Because damn do you die quick. Because you are by and far the squishiest party member. Yeah, he was toast. Melon! I got a granola bar. Any other melons hiding here? No? Alright. Let's go fix that track. But first, we go this way. I don't have a matchbox. I can't find my teddy bear anywhere. The last time I had him, I'm pretty sure I was wandering through a big pink castle. If you ever find him, could you return him to me? I bet he's really lonely. Alright. Oh, is that what I think it is? You got a matchbox. Cool. Let me go back then. Oh, they just respawn instantly? At least you can avoid them. Slice this. Cool. Slice. Got a railroad track thing. What's that? What's that? Oh, God. Cool. So, does that just give you a time limit, basically? Yeah, you, you can't avoid that. <laughs> God, that's weird. I'm glad it doesn't do anything besides put you back, because, God, that's weird. Okay, we gotta go fast. Got it! Take me away! Oh, I'll fight you, because I don't know what you are. Heroes afraid of spiders. Potted plant. I mean, technically, yeah, I guess it is. Hmm. Headbutt. Hmm. Rebound. Oh, you have a bit of defense, don't you? Please leave Kel alone. Hmm. I think that bunny's happy, actually. Damn it, Bug Bunny. That's really useful. Auto plant explodes. Oh, it does, does it? So I'm literally never fighting you again. Oh my god. Why explode? Hmm. 
Mori did not succumb. That's what I was counting on. Oh my god. He found nachos. That was worth it. Kel learned curveball. Hero learned smile. I should take a look at these skills. I've been kind of ignoring them. I should also heal everyone. I have some s'mores. Okay. Mori doesn't have anything else. Oh, I guess he does. Aubrey's atta Aubrey attacks a foe and becomes happy. Hm. I prefer her a mad, though. Hack away. Attacks three times, hitting random foes. Yeah, okay. Kel does an attack based on his speed instead of his attack, and makes a foe feel a random emotion. Deals extra damage to foes with emotion. I'll take this one instead. Wait, what is your speed stat, though? Smile. Axe first, reducing a foe's attack. Ooh. Axe first, a foe targets hero for one turn. I do like smile. Where do you see their stats again? I don't remember. Here we are. Oh, his P is the same as his, as his attack. Run a gun actually won't do anything. Mm. Yep. Melon. You got fries. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna use all those items, but ah, yes, a single block of tofu. Would you like to eat some? Fully healed, as a single block of tofu should. This place is really overgrown, isn't it? You are all so brave for going through this forest. There's even an old minecart running through here. I wonder what it was used for. Yes, picnic. How are you handling your fear of spiders, hero? Ugh. Breathe in. Breathe out. You're doing great, hero. Keep at it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Amor used to be afraid of used to be scared of spiders too, but look at him now. Not even a flinch. Look how brave he's being. Wow, so brave. Yeah, so brave. <laughs> Poor hero. Oh, mirror. You got cat ears. Wish I could just kind of check what they did first. But nope. Cat ears. Give you cat-like reflexes. Fence plus one speed. Oh, speed plus ten. That's good for Kel. Yeah, perfect. Because he has a speed-based attack that we can use if we have to. Put this there. Got a mirror. I'm sure one of these are going to do something eventually. Don't know when. Oh, where do we go, though? Okay. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Got it. Oh, there's a melon over there, though. Got it. Got a tomato. It was worth it. Got a tomato. Hmm. 
You say tomato, I say tomato. It's only ever tomato. Heals 100 heart and 50 juice. Wow, that's a good item. Okay, if I got another piece of the railroad, whoops, that will mean there's another piece missing up ahead. A happy burr. Oh god, he's... No. Oh. Secret? This web is too strong to be cut. Huh. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Huh. That doesn't do anything, as far as I can tell. All right, stealth mission. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Fucking spider cat. No. Wait, where do I go from here? Oh, but that one has a melon. Oh. A foe... Foe... Foe tail. My greed will be rewarded. Not a real tail. Speed plus 15. Okay, that seems even better for Cal. Here you go, buddy. You're really fast, but you're also made of paper. I kind of want to give this to Hero. So he can go uh, sooner and heal people. So, yeah. Hi. A stump. Aha! You cannot hide these things from me. You got a magical bean. I like going off the beaten path and being rewarded with spooks. Okay, looks like it's an item. Or, equip, rather. There it is. Where starts battle with a random emotion? No, no, I don't want that. More could use something else, though. I'm gonna give him an eye patch. Well, well. Would you look at that? Oh, you're kind of spooky. I'm gonna just save real quick here. If and you don't mind. Your name is Daddy Longlegs. Sure, you've earned it. Welcome to the Lost Forest, where you find things you never knew were lost in the first place. Perhaps they're forgotten for a reason. Oh, this is going to be some Lost Wood shit, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, we got somewhere. 
I see you person fading away there. I suppose we all hold secrets. No matter how lost or deep down we bury them, they find their way back to the other side. Money. Doesn't even seem particularly interested in fighting me. But I must fight it! Hmm. Sure hope this wasn't a mistake. Myself sad first. Hmm. Yeah, headbutt. Wait, no, no. Regular attack first. Tap home on self. Regular attack. Rebound. Let's do a preemptive snack time. Ghost bun. Ah, they're ghost bunnies. Oh, I didn't even notice. That one's sad. <laughs> that snack time wasn't necessary. God, I love that they just both make each other angry. Attack away. Rebound again, and you can just attack. Oh, they just seem to suck away juice. They don't do much damage. I'm okay with this. Yeah, these were a lot less scary than I thought they would be. Decent EXP, too. Uh, alright, let's go this way. Hmm. Um, alright, I'm gonna assume that's not the path. Let's go this way. Trying to lose yourself? Or have you accomplished that already? Either way, this is the right place for you. Perhaps that's why you've come here, to finish the job. I'm gonna go where this bunny was. Oh ho! Is the bunny the key? Usually we tend to do things we want, as opposed to things we say we do. I've never been one for wants. I'm more of a need kind of person. I suggest you look for the exit before your needs become more apparent. Thanks. You picked up a pearl. Sounds like a charm. But it is not. It's not an important item. It's a toy? Pretty calcium that's pretty calcium that's used in jewelry can be sold for clams. Ah yes, the nugget. Yeah, the bunny knows the way. You're still here? You must have either given up or you have fully embraced your fate. A confession, perhaps, but I'm not the one to tell. Fall in the bun. There was a boy wandering around here before, very similar to you. He went into the darkness and never came out. How regretful it must have been to never find out what he was to never find what he was looking for. Be it regret, defeat, or confusion, no one will know. I've seen lost and I've seen blind, but the combination is unsettling. Perhaps you are hiding away from the right way. Oh, yeah? Oh, there's no path here. Hmm. 
And so we've come to the end. You have reached the end of the lost forest, but the beginning of the truth. I will tell you a story that has been lost through time. Oh, are we getting some plot? A story about the creation of this reality. In the beginning, there only existed two. The Dreamer and his room. The Dreamer grew wary of his room and created a door that led to many different worlds. Oh, we're absolutely talking about white space, aren't we? Walking the path as a visitor to these worlds, the Dreamer would come and go as he pleased. Slips and falls, tumbles and drops, the Dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. The Dreamers slowly became filled with dread. Quiet as they may have been, words of malice quietly crept into his mind, whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the Dreamer manifested benevolent entities in his different worlds. Then he compounded his worlds above the Dark Realm, sealing it with their combined might. Yet despite his valiant efforts, the Darkness's presence never abated. Even with new allies, the darkness continued to scrape and scratch at the back of the dreamer's mind. The noise might have subsided, but it never went away. The dreamer could run and bury away his fears, but one still has to face his own reflection. So this... I mean, I get... I would have... I could have assumed this, but I'm guessing this dream world is just to, um... Run away from something. Something in real life. Ain't that familiar. What the Dreamer had created was something he could not be a part of, something outside himself. The Dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary. Knowledge, or the absence of it, would become the Dreamer's greatest gift. To truly escape the perils of his own faculty and ascend to a blissful state of ignorance, only then would the noise cease to agitate the Dreamer's sanity. So, the Dreamer took on another name, and chose to forget himself. From that time on, the Dreamer has lived amongst us, simply as an inhabitant of this world, traveling along blissfully, ignorant of his own fabrication. Children, I must warn you, as with all things that are born in and out of this world, an end will threaten this one too. Though the Dreamer may have subdued the inexorable, the darkness grows still. No bandage can stifle an eternal wound, and there will be a time when its influence will bleed through. Forgetful the Dreamer may be of this peril, a peril never forgets to be. Nice line. I do like a little word, uh, wordplay. Forgetful the dreamer may be of this peril, a peril never forgets to be. Yet the end of this world may be an inevitability. The dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. Huh. Oh. That's quite the exit. Also, H. That was an interesting bit of lore. Hmm. 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 I heard a noise. Mm -hmm, okay. Okay, that was a bit of a trip. Right, spider cat. <laughs> Damn near forgot what I was doing here now. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, was that all that was here? Uh oh. Oh, I was close enough to tr trigger you, huh? But you can't reach me.
Good lord. Here. You also cannot reach me. Now you know, just catch me. I don't think there's anything else over there anyway. I think that is, surprisingly enough, what I was supposed to find. Creepy shit. No. Brr. Oh shit. That's not at all what you looked like. Rare bear. Run and gun. Oh, 103 damage. That's cool. A hundred and three damage. A hundred and three damage. What the fuck? You know what? I'm gonna sad poem you. I'm gonna need your I'm gonna need your attack to fall a bit, because holy shit. I don't know if you're gonna be fast enough, so let me just to all friends. Hmm. Yeah, have a granola bar. Cool! This bear sucks! Okay. What a menace. hero. Then hero can s not snack time because he doesn't have enough juice. Never mind. Come on, it must be a party item. Fries, I guess? Yeah, sure. Okay, we're good. That was ridiculous! Bear feels no! No, you can't be angry. You are too dangerous when you're angry. Oh, it's also very fast! Much a boss, Jesus. Suggested serving size six to eight nachos. Psh. Angry again. Good. 
It's also almost dead, so I'm just gonna see if I can kill it. Someone's probably gonna die, but that's 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 how it goes. Yep, and it's go. It's always kill. Those bunnies gave more than that, and they were way less dangerous. I'll be learning team spirit. Makes Aubrey and a friend happy. Yeah, all right. Good lord. I'm running out of things. Oh. Hello, stranger. I am Mush, and my lifelong dream has always been to be eaten and enjoyed. Will you finally grant my wish and eat me? Okay. Thank you, stranger. You don't know how grateful I am for this. You got mush. Can't wait to be eaten. Makes a friend slightly stronger. Okay, sure. Right, water's not a thing here. Okay, okay, no water. The heck is this thing? It's kind of slimy. It smells like bad apples. There's more forest on the other side of this lump. Come on, Aubrey, smash this thing to smithereens. Oh, what's this? You're asking me for help, Kel? How rare. Step aside, I'll show you how it's done. I'm gonna give this strange lump all I've got. <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. I guess we should find another way past this thing. Yes, let's do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we had used a minecart for that. <laughs> oh. oh, Aubrey's in the front. Okay. Spider bunnies. Oh, picking up speed. Picking up speed. going to assume that's Sweetheart's Castle. Alright, made it to the other side. And we have a fast travel here. Basil, are you here? Basil, where are you? Hmm, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like Basil's here either. Hey, look, it's Mari. Indeed it is. Mari, Mari! Oh, hello, everyone. You all made it through the forest. I, I guess. I'm so proud of you. Mari, I, I was so scared. Nero, this is kind of embarrassing. <sighs> it's times like these I really wish Basil was here. He could tell Hero about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Arachnophobia doesn't give a shit about your logic, unfortunately. Maybe then he wouldn't find him so creepy. I'm not sure if that would help him right now. Oh, hero. You're going to have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Maybe. Or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what the future brings. Eat. Eat the single block of tofu. Oh, I'm so relieved you all finally showed up. 
this forest is full of creepy crawlies. It sure is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Not to mention I keep hearing skittering from up ahead. Seems like it could be something potentially dangerous, so you all should probably rest up. Ooh, sounds like a boss. Oh, we can buy shit. Let's see. And it's not a bad item. I'm gonna buy, like, two. And... Two notches. Save again. Hello. You don't look so well, friend. Are they dead? Oh boy. Let's spin killing sprout moles. Turn back. Oh god. One of them is alive. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Oh. It is a centipede. And its segments are made of dead sprout moles. A little fucked up. Good music, though. Hmm. You know, let me use Hackaway instead. Stronger and Aubrey. So you want her to be angry? Yeah, let me try Happy just, just for the hell of it. and gun. Smile, yeah. Eh. Nice. All right, ouch. Sprout mole appears. And I don't think we want that thing around. Yay, snack time. You need to stop doing that, that hurts. Oh, can it kill it? Can Crawler eats the Sprout Mole. Sprout Mole fucking died. Can Crawler just recovered 148 health and is now happy. for a Mori. Hmm. Not good. Hero needs some juice healing. Kill something so he doesn't die. Yeah, I can't even use it. Okay. King Crawler has an each recent screech. King Crawler is angry. Good! Oh, 
Okay. Uh, if King Crawler is angry, Omori probably shouldn't be um, sad. So... Up talk him. What other toys do we have? Rubber band. Good. Oh, release energy. Four eighty damage. Nice. Okay, good. Making them happy was definitely the call. Deals damage to the foe's angry greatly reduces its... Ooh! Yes! Although you're almost dead. Snack time. Right. I forgot. Oh, never mind. You're done. Wait. Sprout mole masks? Golly, I wonder when that's going to come into play. That thing was kind of fucking spooky. Right, Omori got Lucky Slice. Axe first. When attack that's stronger when Amori is happy. Oh. I'm going to replace Stab with that then. It's okay, friends. I fixed it. And I'm going to go back and heal real quick. I think one hit KO Bear was much harder than that thing. God, look at them all. You guys don't have any text either, do you? Guess not. Oh, he ran all the way back for no reason. Mari's right there. We're at Sprout Mole Village. That actually took a bit out of me to read. A table full of merchandise of an, obno of an obnoxious looking person. Oh, it's just this poster again. Ah, hello, strange-looking sprout moles. Are you here to see Sweetheart's quest for hearts? If so, you've come to the right place. This sold-out extravaganza spectacular will be starting very shortly. Wait a second, I know the show. We have front-row show tickets for it. Ah, I see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. Heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness... Oh, the drama. This is going to be so fun. I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know. I guess it looks interesting. But now it doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could earlier. Please, Hero, we should at least check it out. Please, 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 please. Well, all right. Hopefully this won't take too long. It will take forever. If I may have your show tickets, please. Yes, of course, Mr. Sprout Mole, sir. We have our tickets right here. I'll be reaching to your pocket and took out the show tickets. Guess I wasn't going to take them out myself. Here you go, Mr. Sprout Mole. Oh. Oh, my. I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. Tickets, tickets, tickets. You. You must 
You all must have made some great sacrifices to be here today. Sacrifices were made, not necessarily ours. I applaud you. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At a second glance, you four are the most normal looking sprout moles I have ever seen. Please enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking sprout moles. Oh, first. These sprout moles are such funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. Did you know sprout moles really love tofu? I bought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free to try some. You got tofu. Okay. Alright. Some juicy tomatoes. Well, seeing as how this looks like an entirely new area, I am probably just going to end the stream here. I think I've been playing for a little while. Yeah. So, just going to save here. Still enjoying this game a hell of a lot. I can't wait to get back to it. But yeah, I think that will be all for now. Oof. So yeah, that's the end of the stream. Thank you all for coming. I hope you were entertained. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing, which will be hard because I enjoyed playing a lot. The story is uh, the story's really going somewhere. It's 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 something. We're learning a lot of things, especially from that Daddy Longlegs fellow in the forest. Oof. Can't wait till we figure out all the mysteries. All right, friends. I will see you all another time. Goodbye.